channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. So I'm going to be very briefly giving my opinion on why I feel it is that Jeannie Mai waited to have children after she spoke um, so fervently about not wanting to have children and about her choice to not have children and why that really became something that she felt differently uh, when she was more comfortable with her partner. So I'm going to play the clip where she is on the rail talking about her choices and her decision to not be a mother. Let's take a look. My husband and I have been married for seven years and when we got married at first, we didn't want kids. Okay. We talked about it and we were like, you know what, we have a nice life, it's fun, there's a lot of kids around us. Seven years later now, I see it in him. Mm -hmm. He's, I see when children are around, I can mm -hmm. feel it inside me of what people say that it just hits you. I don't feel it, but I see it in him. Oh no. And it really, it really does suck. Why it's a, you a don't little, wanna, you know, come on, you can put one out for him. She's Lonnie. Yeah. Lonnie, no. Lonnie, no. Okay, so you can see in that clip the passion in her voice, right? The passion, the way that she feels, she is very clearly like, listen, I'm not having a kid when I don't, you know, at any point unless I feel like it. And I totally understand that. I totally get that. And I, I totally agree with that because how I personally feel <laughs> about having children, I believe that Jeannie Mai is now in a relationship with a man that she feels safe and comfortable enough to get pregnant. I think a lot of times people do not really give the proper amount of respect to what a woman's uh, body goes through when she is pregnant. We tend to think that it's just something that happens. You know, a lot of times we hear people having sex and someone ends up pregnant and they decide to keep the baby and you know, it's just, oh, the baby is here. So I think a lot of times we tend to think that pregnancy is also something that is just as careless or just as, you know, easy to happen, but it's really not. There are women who absolutely get pregnant uh, based off of unforeseen circumstances. There are women who definitely have children um, unexpectedly, right? And then there are women who absolutely 100% plan their pregnancies. And I intend on being one of those women, you know? So I think that we don't always give the right or should I say have the right perspective about pregnancy when it comes to how women are able to get pregnant and you know what goes on when a woman's body is going through the changes necessary to deliver a healthy baby not just for the actual baby but for the actual woman like it's actually very strenuous on a woman's body uh, to have a child to give birth to even before she even gives birth really the whole process of creating a child in your womb is very, very rigorous. It's very time consuming. It's very um, just draining, physically draining on the woman's body. Some women's bodies never go back to the way that they were. It's, it's just all in all a process that can be very grueling. I don't think a lot of, you know, men and women really give thought to the process because like I just said, Oftentimes when we think of pregnancy, we think of, oh, you know, an accidental pregnancy, it just happened. Particularly when you are talking about who you're having kids with, that is actually the ingredient that makes this whole thing that much more precarious. Because if you're having children with a guy that, you know, y'all don't really get along well, y'all not really cool with each other, or y'all not even in a relationship, right? and you know, y'all have sex and a baby is now, you know, here. That is very, you know, stuff is starting off wrong. You know what I mean? Stuff is starting off in a very less than ideal situation. And I, I don't want that for myself, right? You know, I'm dealing with that right now with my husband's children's mother. She, it, it's, it's very clear that Though the, the children, as although we are grateful that they're here and we love them, that they link two people together that don't like each other, that don't get along, that pretty much despise each other. And it makes co-parenting all the more difficult simply because of who that they had kids with. Bringing this back to Jeannie Mai, I felt like that is exactly why she did not have a child with her first husband. Because if you look at a lot of the things that she says on the real in the past she would allude to it here and there that she doesn't really get along with her husband that they have a lot of issues they had a lot of uh bickering you know what i mean that let me tell you something this is what i tell my husband all the time i am not getting pregnant 
and so I feel absolutely 100% safe. So I feel like it is a great time for me emotionally and physically, right? Because I'm not going to be off my rocker, whether it's, you know, emotionally off or physically off, mentally off, and then get pregnant. Absolutely not. I am not going to put my mind and body through that whole process if I'm not operating at my best. I think a lot of women don't give themselves that that much of a strong choice. They kind of just feel like, okay, like I was just saying, like, I'll get pregnant, whatever happens, happens. You know, I do not feel that way at any form, at any shape or form. I do not feel that way. I am like, listen, when I'm pregnant, I need shit to be right. Okay, as right as it can possibly be, because I am not going to get pregnant and be somewhere land, you know, just all the complications. Honestly, seriously, there are so many complications that could happen just because a pregnant woman is stressed, you know, just because she's mentally unstable. And I don't want to bring a child into this world under those circumstances. So I really think that's why she waited. I think now, you know, regardless of how you feel about interracial relationships, I think Jeannie Mai and Young Jeezy are in a good relationship. And I think she feels safe now to give into the possibility of that vulnerability, that fear of something terrible could happen to me and my baby. You know, that's a real fear. But now I think she's in a, like I said, a loving, happy relationship where she feels like that is a safe and valuable option for her, you know? And that is awesome. That is that is a great sign, you know? As much as we don't know the intimate details of their relationship and we only see what's, you know, on Instagram. Well, I don't know because I don't follow them on Instagram, but every now and then I will come across their pictures on social media. So we, what we see, you know, is just what we see. But based off of her switch from going to being like, I'm not having kids, <laughs> to being, you know open to getting pregnant that is absolutely a great sign i just want to encourage women before i go like if you are feeling pressured by your family or your partner to get pregnant i just want to tell you that you absolutely have the choice and the space to decide whether or not you want to get pregnant um and wait for a better time for you if if that ever comes you know you don't have to have a child to please anybody else you don't have to have a child to please a man, to please a woman, to please your parents, to please your grandparents. You ultimately have to birth this child, okay? You ultimately have to be healthy and mentally fit enough to incubate your child and then physically birth them. That is all on you. So everyone else is going to be giving their opinions, but at the end of the day, they're going to be standing there watching or waiting outside the hospital room. They're not actually the ones who's going to have to do the work. So you have to decide when is a good time for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. So that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up before you go. Um, and leave a comment if you're feeling what I'm saying or if you're not feeling what I'm saying. <laughs> if this is a strange concept to you, women planning their births. Listen, I'm planning mine. I ain't coming off birth control so everything is right, okay? <laughs> but yes, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.